Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we got our login form all done. But the only thing that we still need to add is our error. So we need to create a component to give the user some feedback. Okay, so let's do that. All right, in order to create the component, so we go to our components folder and just create a new file and call this one errors.js. All right, so let's quickly create the component. All right, in here, what we need is we need to add a couple of things. We're going to set the error props, the errors that we're going to receive as an empty array by default. And we're going to check if the array is more than one or more than zero. So that's one or whatever. We want to loop over that and actually display the error. Next thing is any additional props. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to make this an empty fragment. And in here is where we're going to check if there's any errors so let's go do that so if the errors dot length is let's give us some room it's greater than zero okay so with an n then we want to do something if it's greater okay now the first one is we're going to create a div and inside this div will be responsible for any additional props three dots props okay then inside here is we want to let the person know if there's an error, it's like whoops or whatever the case might be. Okay, so just going to create a div and I just want to give it a text or the red, let's say 700. And we just want the font to be bold. Okay, just like that. And we can just say error like this, or you can do anything. You can literally say anything you want in there, but let the person know, listen, something's wrong. Now, the next part that we want to do is we want to loop over uh, UL. Okay, but I want to do, I just want to give it some space in between that heading and this one right here. Okay, and then, and I want to give this a text rate as well of 700. Let's make the text smaller for this one. Text um, small. Okay, then we're going to loop over the different errors. Okay, so we're going to say errors.map. Okay, and then inside here, we just want to check the error, and then we just want to loop over that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we need to create a list item, so li, to loop over that, and obviously that's going to be the error, individual error, curly braces, and it's going to have a key as well. I think that's why that underline is there. It needs a key, yeah, missing key prop. Okay, so let's do that. So key needs to be an error. Okay, so that it can keep track of the different errors. All right, so that's basically our error component all done. So let's just make sure I'm happy with everything. Yes. All right, just pause the video, copy everything, and then we're good to go. So let's go to our login right here. So let's just make sure we bring in a component. All right, our errors right there. And then we use it right here. Okay. Now, the thing is, you must obviously make sure that you start up your local server on in the Laravel app for localhost 8000. Otherwise, you're not going to, this is not going to work for you. Because remember, we're making contact with our Laravel API in order to communicate with our server. Okay, so we got that right there. So let's just put in some wrong credentials. Let's refresh this. So as you can see, I've got a spinning icon right there. So let me just actually show you that. So I've got a SVG that I spin, so just a loading indicator instead of just loading right there. You can do that. Totally, totally up to you. All right, let's put in some wrong credentials. So I'm just going to say John at something dot com. Right, it's obviously not the right one. Just add something in there. Let's press login. So as you can see, these credentials do not match our records. Now, the error that I got right there, that's coming from the heading here. So that can be anything. So what I think will look a little bit better if I'm putting class right here. And just give it an M space Y or 2. Save that. So refresh that. So as you can see, got my loading icon. So John at example dot not the right one. So just anything right there. So if I log in, these credentials do not match our records. Okay. So obviously our errors work quite nicely. Now, if you get if nothing happens right here, 
and you press F12. But obviously, don't worry about this part right here, but it's saying unauthorized because obviously the credentials don't match. Now, if you get an error like uh, error like cause don't match or something, I'm not quite sure about that, what the error normally is, but something about cause. So let's quickly go to my Laravel app. All right, so in my Laravel app right now, so if I go to a config file and under course, just make sure the paths are set to a star like this, okay? Now, the, since we're doing session-based authentication, just make sure allowed origins, just make sure the front-end URL. Now, this front-end URL, so if you go to our NV file, you can see the front-end URL is set to a local host 3000, okay? Just make sure because they need to be on the same domain. Okay, awesome stuff. All right, so as you can see under the user seeder, the right email address is john at example.com and the password is password because this is the seeder that we use to basically create a user. So this user exists on our database and that's the one that we're going to use. All right, so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one and do all the YouTube stuff. Adios.